Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and today I want to talk about starter systems and starter flaw flaws in the starter system, because when you pull the starter or turn the key to operate the starter, and the starter motor just goes wrong, you wonder, is it a low battery, is it a bad starter, or is it the connections? Well, let me show you some ways to figure it out. Let's, let's listen to this MGA as I attempt to spin the starter motor over. No. Oh. Okay. What's the, what's the problem? Well, let's assume that we've got a full battery because we've charged our battery and uh, we're certain that the battery is new and that, that's pretty good. So now we're going to take a 12 volt test light, which I've extended just a bit here with my another uh, alligator clip wire here. And Danny's going to show you up here. She's going to take a shot of me connecting this to the to the uh, engine itself. Make sure it's a good thing on the engine. We can always test our test light here. Test light works. Okay. You can see the test light works. Now we're going to bring this back around and we're going to put him right onto the center of the post in the battery of the ground side of the battery. And then we're going to pull our starter. Oh, can Danny focus in on that and see that? Look at this. See how that light glows? All right, that means because we're going from ground to ground that some of the electricity can't get through the main ground connection and some of it wants to go through here. None of it should go through here. Well, if you put a voltmeter between here and the engine, the most, the most deflection you should find is about 0.2 volts. Anyway, the fact that this light lights up is a real good indicator that something wrong is something's wrong. What's wrong? Well, I made it wrong this morning, but the most common thing to have wrong, come on up here, I'll show you, is that the uh, starter, the uh, starters, uh, the ground strap on, on the engine is faulty, and I don't know if Danny can get down here and, and see how this is faulty and loose here. See this, uh, this, this guy down here? Sometimes he's tight, but he hasn't made a good connection. I'm going to tighten this up real fast here, as best as I can. And uh, since I just loosened it this morning, I should be able to tighten it. Get down in here and uh, take care of this. Do the best I can here. And it is a tight spot. But anyway, just because the connection is tight and you feel it and it looks good does not mean that it's a, it's a good electrical connection. It usually means that, but it doesn't mean that for sure. So anyway, here we're going to tighten this guy up. And once he's all the way tight, we'll go ahead and try our test again and see what difference it makes. Now we're spinning our bolt on top, so fortunately I've got another wrench in here. This is really tight, and we're eating up a lot of our YouTube time here, tightening up a silly bolt, but no, no uh, demonstration is complete without some difficulty. Uh, he's, he's pretty snug now. So let's go ahead, and we still have our starter lead, or our uh, ground lead hooked up here. Let's put him to the center post and let's try our starter. First of all, the starter works, and secondly, the light doesn't light. Now that's the ground side. We found a fault there. We can also find a fault on the power side. And he's going to come over and shoot down here. I'm going to take my, take my alligator clip and put it right down onto the connection on the starter where the main cable goes. See that down down in there where the where the main cable goes onto the starter motor, right? Then I'm going to take the other end of my lamp here, my test light. I'm going to put this on the power side, the hot side of the battery, and it comes on. It comes on because the electricity is trying to get through the test light and run the starter motor. But as soon as I operate the starter switch, this light should go completely out. Which it does, meaning that I've got a good circuit. So with a test light, 
you can you can test that circuit. You can go, you can start in the beginning and do the whole thing from the post to the engine. Then to find out where the specific fault is, you could go from the post to the clamp, uh, the clamp to the to the chassis, from the chassis to the engine, and wherever this lights up is where you've got that high resistance. So that's how you use a test light to find a voltage drop to determine whether it's a connection that's bad. Now this, this won't tell you that your starter motor is bad, um, but you can do that by a process of elimination. If your battery's good, and if your um, connections are good, and it still doesn't spin over, it's probably the starter. Anyway, this is for Nathan and Las Cruces. Nathan, we'll see you later. And for the rest of you watching on YouTube, please, uh, please send us your notes and letters, and we'll do some videos especially for you. See you later.